Hey everyone, it's Justine and welcome to my very first video for Ellen Hudson. I'm very excited to be showing off the brand new March release for you that was designed by Julie Ebersol. I don't know about you, but I was following her Instagram stories when she was doing all of her adventures in Japan and I was super excited that she came out with some inspirational sets from her trip, including these awesome rice bowls, udon noodles, the different um, accessories that you need for the typical sushi meal, as well as some adorable little sushi and tuna and all these just adorable chopsticks and coordinating dies. Who doesn't love those? And then also this really awesome stamp set here called Soul Matcha. And I love the three little ladies here. I think they're so adorable as well as the bamboo that I'm going to be using on the card and all their little accessories. So let's get started in making the card today. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to show you a technique here, the how you can get some repeat background stamping to make sure that your stamping is in a straight line. So I pick up, for example, this stamp using my Misty Stamping Tool. And I'm going to be using some VersaFine ink on top of it because this is my best detail ink here. And I'm going to stamp it on the side. And then I'm just going to move it and I can lower down the door of my stamp here and I can move it and position it exactly the way I want to get perfect spacing as well as a perfect line each time so that they're all in one straight line across. And I'm going to be making my own background paper today using this and I think it's going to look really great in the end. So I'm going to get speed you up a little bit here as I'm making it in order for you to be able to not get so bored with me. Okay, so now in a speed up version, I'm just going to do different images for each of the rows. I'm going off the cardstock because it makes it look more natural when you're actually stamping it to make it look like it was cut from a larger sheet of cardstock. If I were to have everything perfectly within the cardstock, it would be a nightmare trying to line it up. And not only that, it would look not natural. You wouldn't have that fine edge to the um, edge of the cardstock that I really think makes this card. So now that that's all finished with my background, I'm just finishing up with the last little piece here. I wanted to go ahead and start inking up all of the insides of the card. And what's really great is if you're a colorist, you could totally do the background in Copics or watercolors or pencil crayons or whatever you like. I'm not so much a colorist. So I like the fact that the stamp set also comes with the solid pieces to put inside each of the stamps. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the background started. And I'm gonna be using blackjack and Bellini inks from Catherine Pooler. I love the coverage that I got for each one of these stamps. And that's what I love so much about Catherine Pooler inks. I went ahead and I added the chopsticks here just for a little extra texture and dimension and just some more interest in the card and I lined them up in various lengths and I thought it would be cool to go sort of a short, long, short, long look to break up the different patterns. So the next thing I wanted to do was I grabbed this die from My Favorite Things here, one of from their Stacks dies, and I cut a piece of vellum and stitched around the edge to go over top of my cardstock. If you know my style, you know I'm a clean and simple stamper. So the background was quite busy for me and I wanted to mute it in, a wee, in a, my own little way. So I went ahead and did that. And then I added the bamboo here onto a block and I'm going to be stamping it on top of the vellum as well. I'm gonna create a fun background that is going to support the ladies that are gonna stand in front of it. So I thought I would grab my embossing powder bag here, making sure that there's no static on the vellum, which of course with vellum happens more often than cardstock. So it's a good idea to have that bag. I'm gonna stamp it in Versamark ink twice over the background and emboss it using white embossing powder. So I'm using some white super fine embossing powder from Ranger and just covering the bamboo here and then I'm just going to use my heat tool to melt it. I personally find that the heat tool melts a lot faster on vellum than it does cardstock so be careful when you're doing that so the, cards, the vellum itself doesn't warp. So it only needs to be on there for a second. You can see I have this really fun subtle background here onto my card. So I went ahead and grabbed the ladies from the So Matcha stamp set and I went ahead and stamped them as well as the fan onto my cardstock and I'm stamping it a few times here. I originally used Memento ink because I thought I was going to Copic color them but I realized I wanted to use the same colors as the background to bring out those colors that I used. So I wanted to incorporate the colors that I used on the background, which were the Bellini, the Blackjack, and the Lime Ricky. So I went ahead and I stamped the Bellini and the Lime Ricky onto an acrylic block, and I used my water brush to quickly watercolor the images. 
Now knowing full well I used the wrong ink and not a waterproof ink, I purposely avoided the edges of my stamp design in order to not get any bleed. Of course you could just use some Versafine ink, which is a waterproof ink, for this, or the Catherine Pooler Black Midnight ink as well will be fine for this. So I thought I'd incorporate those colors and just be able to tie in the backgrounds with my little Japanese ladies here. And I inked the, up the fan as well with the Lime Ricky and the Bellini. I went then ahead and I grabbed the coordinating die set and I die cut them using my Big Shot. And then I had them all cut out and ready to go so I can begin attaching everything onto my card. Of course, I didn't want to forget a sentiment, so I went ahead and attached a sentiment to my block. And on the scrap sheet of paper from where I cut out my little Japanese ladies, I'm going to go ahead and stamp Just Roll With It, which I thought was an absolutely adorable pun to use with the sushi background. And I cut that out using my paper trimmer so that it was a nice thin strip. But I didn't cut it down because I really wasn't sure how I wanted it to sit on my cardstock. So now I have the ladies attached to my vellum and I went ahead and added small pieces of Tombow Mono liquid adhesive to each of the corners of my vellum because I'm going to be covering them using some Nouveau drops. I was also able to attach the vellum by adding glue behind the stamped ladies. Now this is really important because vellum is see-through that when you're gluing you have to glue strategically. I didn't notice that my glue shone through at all on the vellum with the really white background because the glue was white as well, but I wanted to be on the safe side. Now in order to embellish my card, I went ahead and added some white Nouveau drops to each of the corners of the die that cut out the vellum. And I would suggest actually doing this as the last step before you, after you glue your card base because I did end up messing it up here and there by running my hand through it. But since it was all still wet, I was able to easily just wipe it off with my finger and reapply the Nouveau drop. It gets a little bit more complicated when using certain colors onto cardstock directly because they can smudge or leave a stain. So I grabbed a card base that measures four and a quarter by 11 and I folded it in half at five and a half inches and secured it with a bone folder. I then went ahead and added my card base directly on top of my, or my card panel directly on top of my card base with some Tombow Mono liquid adhesive glue, which is my glue, personal glue of choice. So I'm going to attach that to my cardstock and you can see that I have a nice little white frame around it, which is very typical to my style of card making. The last thing I did was just go ahead and add five more of these beautiful Nouveau drops onto my sentiment strip for added interest, and then I called it a day with all the embellishing on my card. I so hope that you enjoyed my first video tutorial for Ellen Hudson. I hope you enjoyed my design, and I hope you're really having fun with the new release from Julie Ebersol. It's super fantastic, and I love it. If you're interested in looking at some more photos, here they are, some close-ups of the design when it was all finished. I truly love the muted background along with these beautiful little ladies, and I hope you enjoyed my first video tutorial with Ellen Hudson. If you'd like to see some more crafty videos, be sure to continue on to the video suggested here. Don't forget as well to subscribe to the Ellen Hudson channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.